Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem. Wa i'tasimu bi hablillahi jami'in wa la tafarraku. Hold on to the rope of Allah, all of you together, and do not divide. And the Mufassireen, the explainers of the Qur'an, they say, Hablillah is the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, Fi Kitab Al-Kirim, Inna hadha sarati mustaqeem fa'atabiyu wa la ta'atabiyu subur fatafarraku fatafarraka an sabili. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says, Fi Kitab Al-Kirim, Verily, this is my straight path. So follow it. And don't follow the other paths. The Prophet Sallallahu read this ayat and he drew a line in the sand. Like this, a straight line. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he said, Hadha Surat Mustaqim. This is the straight path. And then he drew a line on the right and a line on the left, similar to what I've done, if you can see it. He said, Hadihi subur ala kulli sabil fihi shaitan, o kama kala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, and those are the various paths. And at the end of every, head of every one of those paths is a shaitan that calls to it. How do we know when or who to take our knowledge from? Ibn Sirin, one of the Salaf said, Inna hadha ilm ad-deen fandhru kayfa fandhru anman yakhud deenukum, wa kama qal. He said, verily, the knowledge is the religion. So look to those you take your religion from. That's power, powerful right there. Look to those who you take your religion from. So then the question arises for us, 2013, how do we tell who to listen to? There's so many people talking about Islam on the internet. Some are Muslim, some are non-Muslim. Some are from this group, some are from that group. Some are from that jama'ah and that for jama'ah. One test, I'm going to give you a test here, or a, 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 a barometer, you could say. A way to measure and to be able to determine who should you listen to. Whenever you're listening to someone, look to see if first, whatever they're saying, when they're, if they occasionally give you their opinion, that's no problem. Or give you a, a view, but mainly... When it comes to the assass of what they're giving you, when it comes to Islamic knowledge, they should be giving you, they should be saying, Qal Allah, Qal Rasul. You know, that's what the ulama, the scholars from before, they, that they were, they considered knowledge. They said, Al-ilm, huwa Qal Allah, Qal Rasul. Wa Qal Sahabi. Or, Kama Qil. That the, the, the early scholars, they used to say that knowledge is, the, you know, when you hear a, a verse of the Quran, or you hear a, uh, a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu a statement of the Prophet والسلام, or a statement of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. This is how they were about knowledge. So how do we look as a barometer? That's our barometer right there. That whenever we hear someone speaking, giving us an Islamic lecture, now if they're giving us a political lecture, they're giving us a lecture about economics, they're giving us a lecture about... Uh, the uh, world economy, or they're giving us a knowledge about, you know, whatever, whatever the various sciences, or, or the science of the stars, and the, the, the mountains, and, and how volcanoes uh, are formed, then that's fine, that's something different. We probably are not going to refer back to the Quran and the Sunnah for that knowledge. But when they're talking about Islamic knowledge, then listen for, are they giving you verses of the Quran? Not just verses of the Quran, but that support what they're saying. And the explanation of the 
the Quranic explanation that, that you hear from Tafsir Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Tabari, Tafsir al Baghawi, Tafsir al Tabari, and, 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 and Qurtubi, and so forth, that, it, that what they're saying, their explanation, is in accordance with that, those Tafsir. The other thing that they should be using as evidence for whatever they say is are they telling you a hadith of the Prophet are they giving you authentic sunnah not just uh, a sun, something that's da'if that might be fabricated but they're giving you authentic sunnah that's been authenticated by the people who specialize in that science the science of hadith muhaddithin the third thing you want to listen to are they giving you conclusions and so forth are they saying well it's my view or it's metaphorical those hadith meanings it's an analogy, those hadith meanings. Or are they saying, uh, Ibn, uh, the, the uh, Ahl hadith, Ibn Hajar said this, Imam Dhabi said this, uh, in Shara Sunnah, this was said, and they're giving you, uh, you know, Imam Tirmidhi made this judgment on the hadith and also said this, and said Jamhur ulama on this. You know, are they giving you from the Salaf? And from those who preceded us, from the people of righteousness, the scholars, are they giving you their understanding? If all of those three, not just two, not one, but all three of those conditions are in there, then, inshallah, they should be someone you should be able to take knowledge from. Doesn't mean they don't make mistakes. Doesn't mean that they, they, they haven't made a mistake in their use of evidence too, or that they couldn't call you to some innovation too. But that's the bare minimum. That's what you want to look for. But if you hear a man speaking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and he's giving you all the time his opinion, well, in my view, and I think the hadith means this, I feel it means this, then a person like this you should be wary of, of taking your knowledge. So look to those, uh, use that as a tool, and inshallah, may Allah bless us with success in this life as well as the hereafter. And bless us with ikhlas, with the battle of sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.